the world's busiest control tower. We're gonna check it out on this episode of Taking Off. Come on. All aircraft inbound on the fifth arrival. Flying on the Swiss Road. We'll pick you up by typing colors across the highway. Rock your wings with a good wing rock to show off your wing rock skills. We'll pick you up by typing color over the highway. We'll assign you runway 36 left or 36 right. If you want 36 left, we'll ask you to turn into the grass as soon as you can. And 36 right at or after the red square. High speed taxi to the end for aircraft. There is runway behind you. Welcome to the show. Okay. All right, you guys. We are in the control tower, the busiest control tower in the world this week. This week. So I, I know the, t the control Control towers I've visited before might have one, two, or even three people. I've never been in one that has 20. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, have you ever wondered what it's like to be in the? Office? I have. I have wondered. So we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna talk to Jay, uh, one of the managers here, yes. and. Wow, this, I'm just. I can't I, stop looking around. I, know. I, I just saw a flight of four warbirds take off. So pretty amazing. I'm very distracted right now. I can't even lie. What does it take to become a controller here at Osh? So there's a solicitation process that goes out to the country, and uh, any controller can bid it. Um, but there's four categories of employees that we select. We have 16 teams of controllers here, and there's four controllers on each team. There's a rookie, first year, a limited, one to three years, a veteran, four years or more, and a team lead. So all 16 teams are made up of that, and there's also supervisors here. I want to know, why pink? Everybody's wearing pink. <laughs> <laughs> we always get that question. It's really twofold. Um, it's, it's obviously identifiable because uh, there'll be times where we have controllers out by, they're called moo cows, the mobile communications that are out by the runway. And, and the pilot's clearly going to see this, hopefully, when you're being pulled up to. So uh, identifiable and for safety. How does Christy get a pink lanyard? Apply to be an air traffic controller and get selected. See, I'm past the age of application. <laughs> I just want Which the lanyard. Which 31, right? You know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In your experience here, uh, what is has been the most kind of um, the hardest time? The, the, the time challenging. That, the most challenging. That's so a good word. Traditionally, yesterday, Sunday, before the air show started on Monday, is traditionally the busiest day. Sunday yeah. is? Yeah. Oh, Everyone's good. Trying to I get came in, in yesterday. That's cool. Everyone's trying to get in before the air show started. But then, so this year was a little bit unique. There was that bad weather that was on Saturday night. So we had to close up a little bit early. And then Sunday morning was, the ceilings were low. So we didn't really start accepting arrivals until about 10.30. So that pushed the start back even further. But yesterday was, I think, the busiest day since 2015 or 16. Wow. And we were already uh, humping for today. What were the numbers yesterday? Uh, Offhand? Yes. Uh, I think... Between 22 and 2300. Wow. 22, 2300 airplanes arrived at this one airport. In one day. Right. Oh my gosh, I was one of them. Yeah. So you're you're welcome. Thank you for your service. <laughs> it, you know, I will actually say the the new arrival that you guys have got going. It was so great. So were you out past Portage when you came in? So when I came in, um, yeah, we they were just telling us go to Portage, start yeah. at Portage, then Endeavor, and come yes. on in. Yeah. And it was it was seamless. It was it, it was absolutely beautiful. We're already back to Portage already. Yeah. Yesterday I got an alert on my phone saying. All right, guys, yes. join up 25 miles south of Portage. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I got the same thing last year and when they fir first started yeah. this, and it, it was, was awesome. year for the procedures yeah. last year, and we had pretty good feedback from so everyone. Far. Yeah, and it it's was much great. more, it's much safer procedures yeah. were. Pretty soon, you guys are going to be so busy, they're going to have to start in, like, Wichita. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, uh, I almost pushed uh, to Madison yesterday. Wow. They were flying around Madison's class Charlie VFRs to start getting in line. It was impressive. What is going on right here now? Okay, so you'll see there's more than just four, but there's a team of four over there, and then there's also a supervisor or two that might be watching, and a couple ops managers, depending. And then you'll see there's another team over here similar. Um, this team is working that runway, those two runways, three, six, left and right. This team is working runway two, seven for departures. As they're set up over there, of those four, uh, people from the team will be two spotters, one communicator, and then the team lead is kind of covering everything. So the spotters are saying words that the commun communicator will just repeat because it's too busy for them to be scanning everywhere. So the spotters will say, high wing, the gravel pit start your descent. The communicator will just repeat it. Like they don't have to think what's going on. And then they're controlling the distances between the, uh, the arrivals on the runways and getting them exited off the runway in time. 
So uh, that's what's going on. There's the four team members, an office manager, and a supervisor, all kind of keeping track because there's so much going on at once. How often uh, does trouble happen? I mean, I know yesterday somebody ground looped, um, but we had a few of those yesterday. Um, luckily, no one got injured. Very little um, damage to any aircraft. Um, I can't say yesterday. We actually might have been a little higher occurrences, but it's the winds were more of a crosswind yesterday mm -hmm. that impacted some of that. So I couldn't really tell you what statistically it is, but generally it's all just things like that. Somebody ground loops on the runway, or if somebody has a flat tire on the runway in this busy trying to push 2,000 planes in, what, what's the procedure for that? So the office manager will hit the crash phone, notify the crash fire services on the airfield, and then we'll stop. Uh, services on all the runways because crash fire are stationed all over because you don't know where the incident might be. But once one happens, we notify them, they all proceed to where the aircraft incident is. So we don't take any arrivals during that until then the airport authority will say, okay, we've got all the crash fire vehicles over here on 36. So 27 is available now, so they'll give us that runway back. And if the, if the incident was on 36 right, they might say, okay, 36 left is usable. And you know, just start piecemealing it back. So you would say that the easiest, most laid back time for you guys is during the air show? Right. Okay, that's when you guys get your break. Because <laughs> we're not, yeah, we're not controlling any of that. <laughs> so you guys sit back, uh, play Candy Crush, and drink coffee at that time? Take a break because they're so overworked for the six hours. No kidding, that. I was going to say. <laughs> All right, well, Jay, thank you so yeah, much for, for letting us up here yeah, and see amazing. what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You're at O'Hare? Oh, my gosh. Oh. I fly into O'Hare all the time for work. I'm an airline pilot, so. Success. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Where proudly? Oh, I'm Where going proudly, to. Where proudly, Christy? Okay. Oh, oh I'm. I'm get ready for the All right, Christy, you can't quit smiling. I can't quit smiling. That's I... a nice, uh, you know, you got a ribbon. I am Give part a of the. Give a girl a pink ribbon. I'm part of the Cool Kids Club now. All right, so there's, this isn't it. So we got the tower was incredible, but there's a group of people that keep it working. Yeah, behind the scenes, and we're gonna go talk to them right now. All right, let's go see the ops guys. I right. look, I'm fascinated I'm with air traffic controllers, and I think that ATC is one of the coolest jobs you can have. But you guys are kind of the brains behind the scenes. So yeah, they're real busy up there. But what do you guys do? So we make all the equipment that's used for controlling the air traffic throughout the region. Um, we all come from different facilities from uh, Texas all through Wisconsin. And um, yeah, we take care of all the equipment used, uh, radios, uh, instrument landing systems, radars. Uh, that's kind of our, our day job. And then we come here and it's all uh, calm. I was going to say it's communications, heavy, I would think. Heavy calm. Yep, radios. Okay. What's something that will break down that you fix and overcome? So, moo cows. Moo cows. Moo cows are the, uh, um, the trailers that are parked alongside the runway for air traffic to use, um, primarily for departures. Um, and we built them uh, from scratch here. They uh, wow. off-the-shelf equipment, um, wow. 3D printing, and uh, it, we make the magic happen uh, so that they can control the planes and get them airborne. Um, we also take care of everything in the tower, which is what they use for all the arrivals. And then FISC is the main arrival approach, and we set up all the equipment out there um, so that they can direct the traffic to whichever runway they're uh, landing on. Well, we have a team here that's unlike any, I mean, not only the tech ops team, but the, the, uh, the camaraderie between us and air traffic is incredible. You know, you, you just don't see this kind of teamwork um, at a lot of facilities. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, anyway yeah. really, it's just, you know, it's amazing how everybody comes together here and makes a difference. Yeah. I'm going to become a controller today at uh, Oshkosh. You only need two hours of training and you're ready to go up there and, and push 2,000 aircraft in a day. It's amazing. Isn't that right? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. This belt buckle, it kind of ratches it, ratches. I want this just for every day. Holy cow. Oh, it's what you got? Yep. That's what you tried to take off a minute yeah, ago. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I can't get it in that, but okay. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay, it's that was amazing. Okay. Color-coded. Color-coded, all right. So I can probably handle the color-coded. Now, here, these are light speed? No, uh, no light speed. Microphone okay. always goes on your left. Right, okay. Thank you. And that's what I do. Oh, wow, these really are sound deadening. Okay. They also have uh, noise-canceling mics. It'd help if I plugged it in all the way. Okay, yeah, so just a little delayed. And so I just push the talk so I, so I can just come back to you and 
All right, so uh, land on the green dot, Greg. Green dot, green dot. Keep your speed up. Rock those wings. Welcome to Osh. You're supposed to rock your wings first. <laughs> okay, so uh, Christy, was was this the best uh, thing you've ever done at Air Venture? This is definitely up there in my top like three things at Air Venture. Top three. So you can't say it's the best, but you because you don't want to. Well, you can't. You you have to love all your children. Yeah, right. Like, I mean, what do I love more? Do I love the overhead break by the Delta or do I love, you know, <laughs> going the up tower? into the tower, exactly. the world's busiest control tower? You know, we have great sponsors, Christy, that make programming like this happen. We have mm -hmm. Flying Eyes. Yep, you got the sunglasses. I got the ophthalmics, the regular ones with the, the snap ons, with the, the bendable thin under a headset are great. They can use discount code taking off all caps one word for 10 percent off and also colton mortgage colton taking off.com yep he's a pilot just like us and we want to help support the good guys and these are good guys like mps protects mm -hmm. nick is a pilot as well so without our sponsors this can't happen we want to thank you guys for that thank you all right and we'll see you next time on taking off <laughs> <laughs> wait which way are we going <laughs>